Regency Solitaire. This is the sort of early morning game that, uh... Oh wow, it's actually a Steam category. Apparently it's a strategy game. Alright. Um... I forget when and how I obtained this game. England. 1812. King George III has fallen ill. His flamboyant son, the Prince of Wales, now sits upon the throne. Wow. Welcome to the Regency era. Hmm. High-spirited Bella is the eldest daughter of a respectable family. She dreams of dancing in fashionable ballrooms and winning the heart of a handsome suitor. Perhaps even the sophisticated and most eligible Lord Henry Worthington. But Bella's hopes have been dashed <gasps> now that no. her foolish brother Edward has oh, gambled no. away the family fortune, leaving her facing an arranged marriage to her odious neighbor, Mr. Bleakley. Oh dear. Can Bella restore her family's wealth and reputation? And will her dreams come true? Well, those are two separate questions. I mean, can she restore her family's reputation? Maybe. Um, will her dreams come true? No. No, very unlikely. All right, so, yeah. Papa, who will we hold a ball? Enough, Bella. The extravagance of holding a ball at our humble abode is well beyond our means. My sister and I will become old maids if we don't go out into society soon. If you want a husband, our neighbor, Mr. Bleakley, would make an acceptable suitor, surely. I should die of boredom if we were to marry. Husband, will you keep will you stop extolling the virtues of that man bleakly? I declare he is the most odious gentleman in the country. Bella can do better. Margaret dearest, calm yourself. And if become acquainted with the facts, if you please. I cannot settle any fortune upon Bella. A fact that Bleakley is willing to overlook. Indeed, we should consider ourselves thankful if he makes an offer of marriage. Mama, Mama, I've received a letter. My godmother, La Lady Fleetwood, has invited me to a grand ball in Bath. Finally, a dream come true. Oh, okay. Never mind. Her dream has come true. She received a letter. What a dream. How wonderful! You will be dancing among England's most fashionable and eligible gentlemen. We must consider your wardrobe. Fetch out my old trunk. There's some finery inside from my Devontet days. Alright. Uh, oh! There's actually a rules explanation. This is already a step up on many games that I play. <laughs> Where they're like, yeah, you want rules? Go over there and go read the rules. This is a tutorial. That's the word I was looking for. Um, yeah. Click on a tableau, uh, one number higher or lower than the face-up foundation card at the bottom of the screen. Note an ace can go on a king, and vice versa. Wait, what? An ace can go on a king, and vice versa. Oh, okay, I have to pick one, uh, a number higher or a number lower. Okay. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You started a combo by playing six cards in a row. Combos boost your gold multiplier, so keep them going for more gold. Click End Combo when you need to draw a new card from the stockpile. It's probably going to happen soon here, I'm guessing. Or... Alright, there are no valid plays, so you need to draw a card from the stockpile. Boop. 
Shit. Boop. I can see how this works, though. That's clever. Alright. Uh, Jack. Queen. King. Truly the dilemma. Ace. Two. Um. Ten. Jack. Queen. Jack. Alright, good enough. Three, four. Nine. Seven, six. Six, five. Mission accomplished. <laughs> nice. Chapter goals. Find Mama's trunk. Set as desktop wallpaper? Oh man. Now we're talking. Alright. Mama's trunk is hidden under some cards. Find it to progress to the next chapter. Alright. Well, we want to pick the ones that have cards underneath them. All else being equal. So there's a two. There's a three. We're stuck. I'm sorry, the ace actually had something underneath it. I just didn't see that. Ten. I don't see a nine, and I don't see a jack, so we're gonna pick something else. Nine. Alright, um... Eight, seven... Eight, seven, six, five... Let me pick this. Come on, let me pick it. All right. King, ace. Um, I suppose there probably is some strategy to this game. Four, five. King. Uh, yet yeah, we have to pick a queen. Um, king, queen, jack, ten. Hey, we found the trunk. It's right there. Yay! Ah, oh, wonderful. You found my trunk, Bella. Look inside for something you can wear to the ball. Ooh, we got a fan. Alright. I think I just got a bad deal. Yeah, I think that's not my fault. We're gonna retry. It's possible it was my fault, but... I'm not thinking so. Um, or not thinking it is so. Alright, so I'm gonna end my run on the 10 here. So I'm gonna go 7, 8, 9. Uh, we're gonna pick this 10 now, because it has a card under it. Ace. King. Alright, we got a lot of threes and stuff. Um, let's pick cards that have other cards under them. Three, four, three, four, three, four, 
three, four, five, six. All right. Nine, ten. Jack, queen. Again, possibly I get a bad deal. You never know. Actually, I I did something dumb. By burning up all the threes and the fours, now to get rid of these twos, I have to get the right cards. So that's actually partly my fault. Although possibly it didn't matter. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, we had a decent combo this time, too. Chapter goals. Find Mama's trunk. I mean, if you cleared the board, you were going to find it, so... Dear sister, I'm so delighted for you. When a young lady attends a ball, it is always the start of an adventure. Thank you, Charlotte. If only that were true. Her brother Edward, who I cannot help but love despite him being a complete greenhorn and losing all our money, leaves me little option but to resign myself to a future with Bleakley. Oh, but you must hold fast to your dreams, Bella. You have been practicing your dance steps for so long. If Lady Fortune truly smiles upon us, you could even hold a ball here someday. Bleakley need not be invited. Yeah, why don't we hold a ball here, like, right now? I mean, we got the space for it. Probably don't have, like, the latest CDs, right? On our MP3 player? Uh, okay, they've got a change for the journey. Welcome to Bella's Makeover Project. Turn this antiquated room into a ravishing Regency ballroom and shop for the latest fashion accessories. Free. Oh yeah. Yeah, we're gonna buy that. Nice. Alright. Address? I don't know. We have a choice between do we get a dress or do we get some gloves? Oh wait, these actually have effects on the game. Gives you un two undoes per hand. Displays how many cards are in the stockpile. Huh. Well, that's not useful. This doesn't seem useful. Yeah, we're gonna take the gloves. Who needs a dress? Yep, we're five coins short. So, unless I can go scrounging for coins somewhere here... Yeah. But we can... Take a look at the room. Set as desktop wallpaper. I mean, maybe. Not right now. Alright. Look at my beautiful goddaughter Bella. It's her first ball here in Bath. I'm so proud of her. Bath truly really is the place to visit the season. All the fashionable set are here, even Lord Henry Worthington. He's so handsome and generous, and owns vast estates. I mean... Yeah, you probably don't need to say the last part. In fact, like... Regardless how he looks, if he owns vast estates, you're gonna say complimentary things about him, so... Yet none of the young heiresses dangling after him has won his heart. Mr. Bleakley, I would not expected to see you here. Bella dear, I must be at your side wherever possible. Come dance with me, I insist upon it. Then it would be no it would not be noble of me to refuse your offer, sir. But of course, I'm sure you will have many willing partners at this your first ball. But when they learn your face is only fortune, 
The Earls and Marquis will look elsewhere. Yeah, whatever. I will still be here waiting, however. Well, how noble. Quite so, Mr. Bleakley. Is that meant to comfort me? Wow, we have a protagonist who actually has an attitude. Do not keep me waiting too long, Bella. I am not a patient man. Despite, like, just having told you. Anyway. Uh, yeah. Find a Cupid statuette and achieve a six combo. Alright. Five, six, seven, eight, seven. That's not a six combo, but we could try it anyway. Five. Uh, six, seven, eight, seven. All right, um... Two, three, four, five. I got screwed this game. Probably should be using the take back option, but. We're just going to retry the chapter, basically. Um, now they say I should find some statuette. I have confidence I'll still find it. Oh, a wild card. Well. Okay, to keep the combo going, Click a suitable wild card to place it on the foundation. Uh, interesting. Whoops, I didn't need to do that. Just kidding. We're gonna keep this combo rolling. Or not. Whatever. Evidently that game mechanic is too confusing for me. Yeah, I thought a wild card would just be like a joker. Well, we failed. I'm gonna try again. Nine, eight. Wow, this sucks. <laughs> Whoever dealt this hand needs to be shot. Alright, so... Ace. Two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Six, seven, eight, nine. There we go, we got our... Wow, it crosses the thing out, but it puts in gray when we crossed it out. That's actually kind of sad. We need to find a Cupid statuette. Um, I don't suppose... This has a 2 on it. I don't know, like, what good this two is for us. As far as I can tell, the wild card doesn't actually do anything.
So where's my Cupid statuette thing? find the stupid statuette. Where is it? Seriously, where'd it go? We're gonna keep trying until we succeed. We're gonna complete this chapter. Um, six, seven. Yeah, this game is confusing. Oh wait, I get to keep continuing to collect all these wild cards? No matter how many times I replay the chapter. That's kind of cool. Yeah, we could actually use that then. So that's a built-in crutch to somehow make the game easier over time, so... Uh, it's probably much needed for people who are just bad at the game, or get screwed by luck. Um. Well, that's disappointing. Nice. So, is there a Cupid statuette somewhere? Still not seeing one. Good. Well, that was good. Maybe. Let's keep trying. We're hooked on solitaire at this point. Continue the combo. No ace. Man. Wait, why did I pick the king? Okay. Yeah, it still didn't work out, but that was... The king was the wrong pick. So I think the idea is you want to have a run, but also you want to leave if you want to leave open possibilities of having more runs in the future. So yeah, uncovering cards is great. But also leaving possibilities in the future of uncovering more cards is also a good thing.
I'm still confused where this Cupid statuette thing is. Maybe I only get that if I get a sufficiently large combo. Yeah, I don't know. We're gonna continue trying. Oh, that's a chapter goal. Alright, so we have more than one hand in the chapter. Oh, that's boring. No. But good to know that that is an option. Ooh, we've got a key and a keyhole. Um, I can't pick up the seven. I can pick up the seven. Um... Why did I pick the seven here? I could have picked the five. It doesn't matter. It's fine. Um, tens of no good to me. Uh, eight's no good. Eight's no good. Two. Two ace. Two ace. Two. Five. King, queen, not a jack. That's too bad. Or, um, we're gonna try to uncover some of these cards. Nice. We can actually extend our combo with an ace. Two, three. Alright. Eight combos, not bad. Um. Oh, I missed a card? Wow, okay. Yeah, you're right. Shame on me. Um, thanks for the reminder. I didn't think that would actually happen. But apparently I can miss cards when stuff's rotated and I'm not paying enough attention. two wild cards in hand, which is pretty nice too. Still no statuette. Alright. Four, five, six. Jack, queen, king. choice between a queen and an ace. Yeah, so we're gonna use this to unlock that. Um, king, queen. That's cool that they give us a joker. Let's put that in hand. That is a really nice card to have. Ace, seven, four, three. I wonder where the statuette's at, guys. I can't really tell. Hard to say. Who knows, really? What if there is no statuette? I don't know. Not sure if we'll be able to find... Oh, there it is. You add a touch of romance to any sitting. Okay. Um...
Yeah, my understanding of what a chapter is is what was missing there. There we go. Perfect. I see there's like ten columns here. That's kind of spooky. I was waiting so long to dance with you, Bella, but it seems every other gentleman was ahead of me. I'm honored, Lord Worthington. It is more than I could have hoped for. Wow, ending a sentence with a preposition. Truly we are a commoner. I have enjoyed a truly charming evening. I'm so glad we met. Nothing would give me more happiness than to dance with you again. And please, do call me Henry. Alright, so your protagonist is just a thief that goes to every ball to steal stuff and sell to gain money to save the family. I mean, yeah, definitely. My new portraits of dear Edward and Charlotte would it be would be a joy to behold. All right. Well, I guess. Wow. Turns over fifteen percent of the face down cards at the start of each hand. That's nice. Gives the Cupid cameo power up, which uh, lets you remove a playable card of your choice. Yeah. All right, and fine. Ooh, this portrait of Charlotte is stunning. Hence the rather large price tag. Turns over a further 20% of the face down cards at the start of each hand. I guess at this point we probably want the dress, right? Fine. We can't go everywhere without a dress, can we? Oh, the Roman baths. Alright. Did the Romans really drink this disgusting water, Lady Fleetwood? No, that... You're an idiot, Bella. Hush, dear. The fashionable set drink. It, the fashionable set drink it whenever they get the chance. Your new beau, Worthington, does so whenever he visits Bath. I do find him most agreeable, but I can barely speak to him knowing that I am without any fortune or future. Well, you must avoid that cantankerous bleakly and choose love. When there's a will, there's a way. Get stars, get gold. Yeah. Hey now, you're an all-star. Okay, what? Use the Cupid cameo to shoot an arrow at a playable to blow card. It recharges as you play. Um Okay. Well we'll get to that in a second, but actually that second's probably right now. Um Shoot a playable card of your choice. Oh! Can't actually shoot. Shoot a playable card. So I guess that would be any face-up card that's not a lock. Interesting. Oh, I see. Interesting. And it recharges as you play, so that's why I used it up immediately. Uh, that's why I consumed that. Um, okay, let's check out what this is.
Yeah, I'm not sure what recharges as you play refers to here. But I think it does mean that I have made a mistake. Yeah, that does not charge anywhere near as fast as I thought it might. Um... Alright, so... I want to draw the 10. There's a lot of things I want to do right now, so that I can expose the 7. Um... I think I'm gonna go Jack... 10... He here... 9... And I pick either 8... 7... Eight, nine, eight. Yeah, that's just more like it. Um, then we can keep the combo running. Uh, queen, king. Let's see. Doesn't really matter, does it? I did not expect this game to be so addicting. I don't know what it is, but like, somebody put a lot of work into developing this game. Okay, we've collected three stars already, one to go. We've collected, but yeah, we're just stealing all the gold, all the stars. Pretty cool. Maybe we'll have to try hard mode at some point. Um. Oh wow, this... okay. That takes a long, long time to recharge. Fair enough. At least now we know. Ten. Wait. Okay, this card is trapped. Not that I could play it, but I was just... Well, I'm gonna pick the jack anyway, aren't I? Jack. Let's unlock this. Because there's no reason to keep it locked. But yeah, we get, basically have to pickpocket everything. Um. Yeah, we might have to replay this particular hand, because I played it wrong. That's not bad. Let's keep the combo running. Mission accomplished. Find royal cards to reduce the counter on the regal lock. When you reach a zero, it will unlock. All right. So this is the regal lock here. King. I wonder if I were to shoot them with Cupid's arrow, if that'd be a terrible thing. Just wondering how the gameplay mechanics interact with each other. See, there's an 8 under there. 
I'm deliberately not shooting either of these royalty because... Okay, now it actually matters, so I am going to use this and see whether this unlocks that thing. Oh. Okay. Well, that's not cool. Whatever. Could have been explained a little better, but I don't know how we would have figured it out anyway. Alright, well, yeah, we might have to reattempt this particular board. Ace, King, Queen, Jack, Queen, Seven, Eight. Ah, uh, I mean, we could try this. No, nope. we're gonna have to end hand. I'm not gonna burn up a Joker just because of the way this played out. Let's retry. We steal all the things. Not just people's hearts, but also their wares. Oh man, I want the two. Seeing the cards twitch left and right makes me wonder each time if I've actually missed something. Or if this these are just the suitors trying to display some sort of personality. Um, I suspect it's just the latter, that the game's trying to show that the cards actually have a personality. day now. There we go. Mission accomplished. Not the greatest multiplier or streak or anything this game, but hey. Uh, 500's not bad. Ooh. Well, that's interesting. Um. By that, I mean using as heck, but... Oh, nice. Yeah. Man, this game's addictive. After this round, we might have to call it. Wouldn't want to give up... Just imagine switching from... Uh, it's the most ridiculous notion. Wait. I placed this... Okay. Um... Yeah, what I did there was just fine. Can you imagine if somebody could actually make a career doing this particular game? Wait, I just did a really, really dumb thing here. There's an ace over there. And this ace should allow me to start lifting royalty at this point. Um... Yeah, that is much better than where we were a second ago. And you're like, oh yes, I am a regional solitaire professional. And I know all of the regional solitaire things, or regency solitaire. Yeah, whatever. doing Regency Solitaire professionally. I wonder what that would even be like. Oh, I can shoot the 8, can't I? 5, 4, 3, 2, 3. Nice. Ace, Queen, 
Or king, queen. Nope. Whatever. It is disorienting that not all the cards are face up. Or not all the cards are oriented the same vertical, horizontal angle thing. They, they have a different inclination. Well, I'm not burning a joker. Like, this is the situation where you'd want to burn one, but I'd rather retry this round anyway. Because I think, in general, my odds are pretty good. Um, in easy mode. Wait, I was careless. This undo button's kind of nice. There's two jacks and a nine. Ten jack. Ten. Yeah, I confused myself. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. There we go, that's better. We're gonna steal all the gold, and nobody's gonna catch us. Alright. Um. So I already have a four exposed here, so I'm gonna expose this nine instead. Oh, didn't matter. Nice. Um, four, five. Hmm. I have a choice between a four and a six. I'm not sure that it matters. Did not, in fact, matter. Okay, let's let's pick up the other two. Yeah, the undo button's overpowered. But why should I complain? Okay, we failed. You tried. We're gonna try again. We're gonna beat this thing with a perfect score. Only because this is easy mode, I should be able to ace it. Nice to have that shooting ability again here, wouldn't it? Wait. I am so confused at this point. So... I see there's all these regal locks, but I don't see too many... Um royal cards face up. I think I got dealt an unwinnable hand. Or something I can't get a perfect score on. I think Bella's gonna have her dreams crushed once more. Until she re-enters the timeline. Um...
I did not think this game would have anywhere near the depth. Oh wow, no stars. Bella has been executed. No, just kidding. Um, she's been caught for her thievery. And they're not going to let her do it again. Probably should have taken the other eight. It's fine. Yeah, I don't like that some of these cards are so extremely tilted here. Wow, this game is taking pity on me. Putting the fives and the sixes right on top of each other. Okay, so I could actually continue this combo using the seven, eight, seven, six. to go. It even gives us a retry button in case we're not content with the 1.7 multiplier. But I think we're fine with it. Alright, where's the key? Oh, the key is under a regal lock or something. I see. <sighs> ace. Two ace king. That was an easy start. Queen, Jack. Unlock this. Um, five. Could go either five down or five up. The undo button doesn't allow me to undo a whole entire chain of moves, just a single play. So this is kind of a... Well, okay. Yeah, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And I could shoot this and get the 10 and the jack. That's probably the right way to go here. I could go back down to nine or up to jack. There are two jacks in play, so I probably want to get one of them first. Um, I could continue the run using the three here. Three, four, three. Um, actually, continuing the run would be best served by doing the 5 and the 6. But this doesn't leave open much potential for a future combo. So potentially this could backfire. Or it could pay out really splendidly. There we go. Um... So many commoners. Ace, two, three, four, five. Oh, oh well. We tried. 
Um, yeah, let's do this one instead. I have a better feeling about this for some reason. Huh, <laughs> didn't matter. Did not matter at all. Screw it, I'm bored. Alright. Perfect score. Only had to burn one Joker. Next. Lady Fleetwood, quite a crowd here taking the waters, don't you agree? Yes, it's an absolute crush. So popular these days. That delightful young lady, Bella. You are her chaperone. Bella's my goddaughter, and indeed a radiant and accomplished girl. May I see you both again? I'd dearly like to become better acquainted. Wait, is this like the entire focus of the conversation is whether or not we're going to have other conversations? Is this people, how, how they actually behave? I don't get it. I do believe the intriguing villa has caught the most eligible Lord Henry Worthington's eye. Heavenly Harpist. I've heard that there is an excellent harpist in the village. Perhaps we can hire her for social occasions. Alright, so this one's still too expensive. Imagine how delightful this harpist will sound during soirees. Gives you the Liar cameo power-up, which shuffles remaining cards. Uh, we can actually afford both of these things. Combos start after a run of five cards. Oh yeah. Let me run the table with that one. Beautiful Painted Fan is the height of sophistication. Increases the chance of finding a wild card by 20%. Yeah. Sometime we'll have to get that fan. So... Yeah, we got a harpist. I can click and nothing happens. Um, so yeah, this is Regency Solitaire. The game that we've all wanted, but we didn't know it. Um, so... Really, it can only go downhill from here. So I think we're gonna call it. Um, thanks for watching. And have a good night, morning, whatever. I'll see you around.